the community mill actually started uh, probably about 10 years ago okay. with uh, Betty Heaton and Carolyn Plaster and they thought that it was a way to get the community uh, into the church and to bring the church out to the community. I started with my Sunday school class. We would take turns, different groups, doing the community dinner when it was inside. And so I helped with that. Well, when the pandemic started, we were supposed to have a community meal two weeks, well, we can have after we were quarantined, after everybody went into quarantine. So that's when we decided on frozen dinners and canned goods and just fixing a bag up of uh, food to hand out to people that came along and we promoted it as a drive-through meal. And I think this really helps more people with more food. We get to interact with the other people that come to pick up the food and they are so appreciative and just, I think it just lifts their spirits that we bring the food out to their car and put it in and they drive away knowing that in two weeks they can come again. So it's, it's something that I have come to enjoy doing, look forward to doing it, and very thankful to be a part of this ministry. I like being able to help the community out and uh, it, it feels good doing something for other people. It makes me feel better. So I get probably as much or more out of it than the people that I'm helping. I, I don't care how many people we end up having to come to be, somehow it always ends up that we have enough meal in the freezer for everybody to, to be given something. Jesus has just, and God has just multiplied the gifts that people have brought in to serve more and more people in the community. Some people want to talk a little bit. Uh, they will tell you, you know, things about themselves or, you know, just talking about the food. But to see you know, people, the same people over and over, you feel like, well, hey, this is somebody I know. Mm -hmm. And so, and it, it would be nice if there was some way for the the congregation, the people that have been so faithful to bring food, if you know they could have a glimpse of mm -hmm. what that bag of potatoes, a bag of apples, or whatever they bring, what that means to the people mm -hmm. getting it. I think Jesus really wanted us to share everything we have, mm -hmm. everything, and you know. I, I think we're reaching a big population right now with this, mm -hmm. and you know it's. I don't care if they drive in a Lex, in a Lexus and they come in for food. There's a reason they're here. Mm -hmm. You know, they either needed something for uh, someone else in their family, or they're helping their neighbors. Uh, people come in for different reasons, and I just feel like that's exactly what Jesus wanted us to do. It's mm -hmm. not we're not, they don't have to fill out a paper, and we don't have to judge. Well, you might make too much, or you know. If you need it and you feel like you're led to come here, then we're going to give you something. I remind you of the scripture where, you know, Jesus said, if you do it to the least of these, you have done it unto me. So I think that this is this church being the hands and feet of Christ.